Hey, folks, welcome to InTheMoneyStocks.com's live trading action video. My name is Gareth Soloway, Chief Market Strategist here. Today's date is Monday, March 26th, 2018. Well, just taking a look at the S&P 500, this is an intraday 10-minute chart. You can clearly see we had this huge gap up this morning right into the 50 moving average. We then faded as Facebook collapsed down to underneath $150 before staging a pretty miraculous bounce back to $157. And since has faded. We'll talk about that in a minute. But bottom line is the markets then have started to float up since lunchtime began, since Facebook found its footing. And listen, folks, bottom line, the trading market is the best it has been in literally a decade. It is amazing, folks. I would say the last time we had a trading market this good was in 2008 and 2009 because of the crazy volatility. Volatility is back, and I love it. Members love it because the money keeps flowing. Just to give you an example, today we shorted the 50 moving average here intraday on the intraday in the intraday stock chat, and look at the fall you got. We also played a long right off of this level, nailed the exact. I mean, this is just how good the PPT methodology is. We nailed the high of the day and the low of the day on the spiders. We shorted the high, we bought the low. The charts tell us if you use the PPT methodology, it is literally changing people's lives. So I encourage you to learn it. You can start learning it at InTheMoneyStocks.com. And again, there's the Elite Keys webinar. There's the methodology revealed. You need to know time counts. You need to know confirmation signals, three-tail theory, lots of these other price pattern and time formations. That's the way to do it. So not only did we take those two winning trades in the intraday stock chat this morning, I also had a Facebook long we took. We ended up making a huge chunk on that, $1.50 as a day trade profit on Facebook intraday. So just think about just doing 1,000 shares of, of Facebook today, which is a small end. I did more than that, but you would have made 1500 bucks just on that one trade alone. I mean, it's incredible. Three trades today, three winners. We continue to knock it out of the park. On the swing trading side, folks, I knew a bounce was going to come in today. So Friday, we covered a bunch of our shorts. Literally almost all of them we took in 2018, we covered on Friday. I went long Google. I went long Kraft Heinz. Both stocks doing great. We sold Google. Check this out, guys. This morning, I told people last night in the, in the live broadcast I do on Sunday nights, I said, we're going to end up taking money if we get up about $30 tomorrow, which would be about a 3% gain. Right here is where we took our money. Boom, we were out. The stock then fell all the way down. We re-entered it down here and are now back in it. But I mean, just right there, in literally, we entered this Friday afternoon, probably around 3.45 p.m. Eastern time, so 15 minutes before the market open, uh, closed on Friday. And boom, at the open today in the first 10 minutes, we're out with a $30 gain. I mean, just incredible, incredible price action. Um, and again, what's beautiful about this, we just netted $30. Then we rebought down here basically at the same price we bought on Friday. I mean, so this is how it's done. And again, swing trading, you can see that trade on the track record. It's already been added to the track record. Everything is updated on that 2018 track record. That is the trades. Every trade we've opened and closed this year. We only have a few open at this point because I covered most of my shorts on uh, Friday. Uh, for good profits there. But one other stock I did pick up on Friday, folks, KHC. This is one of my favorites here. Take a look here at um, the daily chart of this. I mean, look at this chart. I mean, this is, first of all, this pays a 4% dividend. So right off the bat, it's way above the S&P 500, which is at 1.75%. So it's way better than that. The 10-year, even at 3%, doesn't even close cl come close to this. Um, so I think it's a value play in that respect. And then if you zoom out on the chart, I mean, just recently, look at the fall here. But if you zoom out on it, I mean, you could just see where this thing was trading. I mean, this was a $100 stock not long ago. So, I mean, it is way down at $61. And, uh, you know, I mean, bottom line is it's starting to bounce today. We're already in the money from our entry at around 60 and a half on Friday. And I think this is going to head right back up, probably back to this level right here, right around 67 bucks or so. That would be my near-term target. That would be a retrace to this consolidation level. And, again, if you know your time counts, if you know your PPT methodology, this is a very solid risk-reward trade. I mean, you have a time count to the downside, you have an oversold condition, you have multiple other signals coming to fruition, and this, again, is already starting its bounce today, and I expect further over the next one to two weeks. I think within two weeks, you probably hit that 67 level. All right, plus I kind of look at it as potentially a buyout target. I mean, at some point, you know, some of these bigger companies could look at that as a value play with a dividend where it is and so forth. So... Anyways, that's where we're standing right now, folks. And again, markets continue to kind of be up pretty solidly on the day. There are some other charts that are getting big moves today. Apple is one of them. Take a look at Apple's bounce here. This was a trade we took. Uh, we actually had this on the short side, and we covered it on Friday. So again, just another winner here on Apple. And uh, we were short on Apple from all the way up here. 
you know, right around this one. I think one seventy-seven and a half area, right up here, and we covered it on Friday down here. So I mean, this was just a beautiful one here. Um, just among many others, we had we had the semiconductor short via being long the SOXS. We took the profits on that on Friday as well. So again, just continuing to add them up. Um, again, all I want to say is this is all about the PPT methodology. It's it's a methodology that Nick and I created, my partner and I created, and it is literally the founding fathers for investors that are just changing their lives by learning how to trade it and utilizing it. And the research centers where you can do it, folks, at InTheMoneyStocks.com. Um, in fact, I can bring it up here. Let me see if I can get this to be even decently um, showing up for you guys. So here's the website, and I actually got to somehow figure out how to get it to be the right size. It's always a little tricky, but um, here it is right here. Here's InTheMoneyStocks.com, and what I always show people is you can simply go over to uh, right here, track record, and then again, there's the Google trade. We bought Friday at 1028.50. We sold today at 1059.25. Easy 3% in literally, what, 30 minutes of market holding? I mean, that's how incredible it is. In 30 minutes of the market being open, $30 gain, basically. Uh, pretty nuts. Micron, we were short Micron last week. Made money on that. SPXU, we were long, which was short the S&B. Obviously made money there. ASML, LRC. I mean, these are all the trades, folks. And you can see it. There have been a few losers. CERN. We lost almost 10% there. P. Rocter and Gamble, about you know five point, almost 6% there. So, I mean, it's not like we're going to be perfect, and I always say that to people. Is there's always going to be a couple losers here and there. But if you look at the track record, it's basically for every 10 winners, you get one loser, which to me is great. I mean, look at the look at the net gain here. 224, 200 and almost 25% for the year, and we're not even at the end of March. I mean, we're on pace to do 1,000% this year. Now, again, that's if you put every dollar uh, of your money in every stock we do. We never recommend that. So really what, what we say is just be conservative. You know, put 10%, you know, 7%, whatever you feel comfortable with in, in it. And let's just say you did 10%, you'd already be up almost 25% for the year. I mean, think about that, folks. That's, that's incredible. You know, for, for the average investor out there, the average investor out there is probably negative this year. And here we are nearing 25% being conservative on the trades that we put out. Incredible stuff, folks. So, anyways, um, as I said, the research center is where you want to go. Research center right here. Um, Seven-day free trial. You can take it. I mean, basically what, what's happening so far this year is people are taking the seven-day free trial. And in that seven days, they're paying for the whole year. Maybe more. Actually, a lot of them are doing more than that. You know, one trade generally pays for the year. But, um, you know, sometimes they're paying for five years in, in that week. But that's just the way it is. And then the rest is gravy. And you can see by the track record how much you would have made. Um, options alert, if you're into options, you can see the options track record here. Uh, we do have one that's expired worthless, but look at all the rest of them. Net gain, 795%. Pretty incredible. And then, um, you know, chat room's the chat room. Chat room's been on fire this year. Um, I think north of $60,000 profit for most a average uh, traders in there in the last two months. Or so, I mean, it's just incredible. You know, if you got 50 to 100K in there, you're making, you know, 20, 30% a month, in my opinion. You know, based off these trades. It is incredible. So, anyways, um, seven-day free trial for the chat room as well. So come join us in the, in the moneystocks.com, guys. Again, this is the market where literally, I, I said this earlier on Twitter. I said if you're a crypto trader, crypto's kind of quieted down. You you got to get back. In, you got to get into stocks because every day, I mean, there's only a certain amount of cryptocurrencies, right? The main ones, whatever. Um, and they're a little illiquid. But if you get into stocks right now, there's so much. I mean, just, just Facebook alone today went to... It went to 149, and it bounced back to 157 in like 30 minutes. I mean, that's an $8 move. $8 move in, in 30, 40 minutes. Incredible. So bottom line, guys, come join us at InTheMoneyStocks.com. This is where it's at. Talk to you soon. Take